Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. You know, I think uh, probably agree with me on this point that part of what makes us unique is that we tend to want to make a difference. Yet, we also realize sometimes it's like a drop of water in the ocean. Well, somebody who wants to make a difference and who has sort of experienced the drop in the ocean thing yeah. is my guest today. This is Nancy Dwyer, and she's running for supervisor, town of Wilton. Yes. Welcome. Thank Very you. nice to have you Thank here. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, when you said that to me earlier, it, it just really st stuck in my mind because people do have that tendency to want to make a difference, mm -hmm. yet it almost seems overwhelming so they don't mm -hmm. do anything. Mm -hmm. And that manifests itself in people not running for office, mm -hmm. and it also manifests itself in things like uh, voter apathy, mm -hmm. where people decide, well, I, what difference could I possibly make? What am I going to do? Well, I've been following what's going on in Wilton. There's a bunch of you in Wilton right now who are going to make a difference, yes, there or are. at least try to make one. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that said, where did this start from? What, what's your background? Like, why would you be interested in running for supervisor? I was going to run for town board. Um, my background is in education, mm -hmm. um, private industry prior to that, and um, real estate. So I have a lot of skills that translate over to this position, being mm -hmm. able to be a leader. I see a town supervisor as, as a leadership role. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you have to be able to negotiate and collaborate and mm -hmm. motivate and communicate mm -hmm. um, uh, and advocate is a big thing. I do that for my clients and... Um, you know, that, it, it almost seems like that's a lost art in politics when you think of the divisiveness and whatever. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, we all are entitled to our opinions. You hear me say that all the time. But uh, right now, you wonder when people think, I couldn't possibly make a difference. Mm. It's just way, way too divided. But when you start using words like negotiate and leadership, mm -hmm. you know, these are the basic tenets of what makes a democracy work. So, you know, Is if there? you've got the will to do it and decide to go out there and put yourself out there, then, you know, woo. Well, and I did. I started off on the national level yes. and, and felt like a drop of water in an ocean. Mm -hmm. um, and this opportunity came up 2017, November 7th. We have um, local races going on and I'm able, right? My family's in a good place. We're financially, I can, I can do this. Um, I'm willing. You, know, mm -hmm. you put yourself out there when you do this, mm -hmm. and I'm qualified. You know, I did my research. I know what this job entails, um, and I have the skills to be able to do it. Well, you know what? Uh, two questions, Nance. Um, you know, Wilton has always pretty much been controlled by one party. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think choice is particularly important yes. in a democracy. I'm sure that you had that on, yes. in your mind when you were thinking of, of this. And uh, I say to people now, if nothing else, this slate of candidates it has raised the bar. Um, mm. it, it's kind of awoken people. And when you, you now have a good reason to go to the polls. It, it's not a given that the person who was there before is just going to run and no one else against them. So now right. it, it is a motivator for people to, to wake up a little bit and sit up at the table a little taller and, and come out and vote. Oh, there, well you have said. a choice. Yeah, you have a choice. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, anybody who's lived in the community for uh, as long as I have, I guess, uh, knows that you know when you first came here in the 70s, Wilton was yeah. pretty much, hello, anybody out there? And it's seen rapid growth and on a curve that's really accelerating quite a bit. You're out and about talking to people. Yes. Uh, what are the things that you hear most often from the constituents regarding what they're looking mm -hmm. for? Most people are concerned about the development. Okay. We grew from, like you said, 1973 when I moved here, 2,000, a little over 2,000 people, huh. to I believe the last numbers I read were in 2014 of mm -hmm. over 16,000 people. Wow. Um, and we're going to continue to grow. And in these uncertain times, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of things going on. So I hear concern about the development and overdevelopment. Um, we have a lot of people who are interested in connectivity. We have a lot of cluster developments. Connectivity. I want to be able to walk and bike safely. Um, and, and there are some that are concerned, you know, budgetary. Mm -hmm. um, what's going on? We have three major locations of 
economic um, business corridors and or places and you know sales tax runs runs our budget yeah, for the most the part yeah. so we have to be cognizant that there's dynamics going on in that world right now that are changing how that and how that impacts us mm -hmm. as a township so you know those uh, are the three biggest. actually defining exactly where Wilton is is, is it can be uh, confusing at times it's kind of a triangular yes. shape isn't yeah, it yeah. Kind um, of. but you really are taking in exit 15 mm -hmm. And because the mall at exit 15 yes. is actually in Wilton. Yes, and then, is. of course, you've got exit 16, mm -hmm. which also has a lot of commerce, especially when it comes to uh, truckers, right? Yes. And you've got industrial yes. parks set up mm -hmm. around there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like you're very well positioned to accomplish the goals of controlled development. Mm -hmm. But also, I, I, I like this whole dive connectivity. Mayor Yepsen here in Saratoga Springs, I talk to her a lot, and she's always very, very... Uh, always has that on her mind. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Bike paths are mm -hmm. important. Walkways are important. Mm -hmm. You know, they had uh, they had that ability to communicate, but also safety as well, right? Yes. So I see one of one of the uh, foundation of a community is the community identity. Yeah, right. That's good. All Who right. are we? Who do we want to be? And if we can't connect easily with each other physically, mm -hmm. as well as emotionally and psycho that whole piece, you're you're disjointed. Yes, right. right? So I I'm a, a vice president of the Friends of Murrow Lake State Park, and I, mm -hmm. I work I help with a Saratoga plan, and I know the green belt that's going that's on right, around sure. Saratoga. So I'm in that world as well, mm -hmm. um, and I see the benefits of that. Mm -hmm. um, there's also challenges, like yeah, everything. Sure. Right. There's there's benefits and there's challenges, and mm -hmm. um, we need to be um, mindful of that. Yes, yes, without a doubt. Yes. The um, the ele that's a phone ringing someplace. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we love about live television. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Listen, I'm not going to stop this conversation. I really enjoy meeting you and talking with you. I appreciate, uh, appreciate that. Same well, here. boy, I'll tell you something. The democracy is alive and well in Wilton right now. I keep meeting people who are saying, I'm standing up. I'm going to try to make a difference. That's I'm going awesome. to do it. And it all involves leadership and connecting the community mm -hmm. and whatever. So as we get closer to November 7, we're glad to have you back again. I and, would love uh, to be back. Anybody that wants to participate in this dialogue and, uh, and get, uh, get messaging out, please give us a call. We'd be glad to have you as a guest. But Nancy, real pleasure to meet you. Same here. I look forward to speaking with you again. I do too. Okay, you take care. Thanks for the opportunity. Sure, you're welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.